Hey all of you, hope you guys are great. So finally we have completed the entire NFT marketplace API and we have bring all the functionality which actually needed in the NFT marketplace. So let me give you a quick walk through that. What are the data structure we have built, how we can call the data and what are the functionality we have included in terms of authentication, in terms of getting the data for the users, in terms of getting the data for the NFTs. Okay, so let's talk about that. So here what I did, I opened my postman and I have already running my server. So you can see my server is running and this is the entire API project. So let's come back to the postman and let's start with the very first one. So if you if I really want to access the data of my NFT marketplace for this API first I have to get logged in into this API then I can easily able to make the call so what I will do I can't remember that uh, the ID and the password so what I will do I'm going to create a new account so I will click on this sign up and you can see right now we are in the development environment so if you haven't watched the NFT marketplace API I must recommend to follow from the beginning okay so this is the post request I'm going to create an account so this time I will create account with the dollar to send Hussain and the ad the address I will going to change because the email address should be unique and that's the logic we have built. So I'll say D A U L A T H U S S A I N Hussain. So this is the email, this is the password, and this is the password, and this is the one. So if I make a request, and you can see I have created an account in my API. I got this JWP token. So if you haven't followed the API project, then it's seems like an alien to you okay so i have this token which allow me to authenticate in the entire api so i can easily able to access all the data so this is the entire data i got back so this is the user id this is the name this is the email and this is the password which we have hash okay encrypted password so we have created that now we can have the access of the entire data in this api so first thing what i will do i will go to this first one is get and I want to find out all the NFT which I have created in this API. So I'm going to make a get request. So I will click on this send request and here I will have all the data. So these are the NFT I have already created, which we have done together. So you can see we can easily be able to access all the data. So this is how we can get the NFT. So I got this NFT. Now if I make a post request so I can easily be able to come in the body and I can create NFT. Sorry. Okay. Create NFT. Okay. So here. It seems good. What I can do this, I can make a send request and here you can see I got an error message. So you can see our authentication is working fine. So here it says that NFT validation fail. The summary is needed. You can see this all logic we have built in our NFT marketplace in the schema model. So make sure to follow that. So we it's missing the the summary. It's missing the price. So let's provide those three things. So I'm going to simply copy that one and I'm going to provide the First thing is going to be the summary. So you can type anything because this one is a required field. So I'll say, hey, dollar. And I have to grab this one. Okay, so this is the summary and I have to provide the price as well. So what is the price? We have a discount price and that looks good to me. Let me provide a price as well. Otherwise it will throw me an error. So I'll take this price and I'm going to come here and I'm going to paste inside this and let's for the price, I'm going to say something like 23. Okay, you can set any number. You can take the price in terms of Ether. It's totally up to you. And that's what happened exactly when you are using this API in the NFT marketplace. So this price will be in the terms of Ether. And now if I make a request, you can see, again, I got this failed request. What it says that the discount price, okay, you can see this validation is also working because here what we have done that, we have said that we want to provide discounts to 500 on this NFT, but the price is less and this is the logic we have built and it's also working fine So what I will do I'll go to increase this to something like this height value number and if I make a request you can see Again, we got this validation error. It says that Must have so we have to provide the average rating. I am missing a lot of data. So let's provide the average rating as well which is Okay, so let me do this provide the average rating. So I want to provide the rating is going to be let's say four and let me make a request so looks good to me and let's see what's the error i'm getting so validation failed average rating must have five so that looks good to me no more issues so what it's saying that okay if i make a request and here you can see this is not an error it's a warning but you can see we have created this nft this is the NFT. And if I come back to the guest get, so right now you can see we have six. The moment I will make a request, I will have this six NFT. And can you guess why we are getting this six NFT? Because 
the nft we have created it's a private so we have built that logic that it's a private nft so if you come here you can able to find the logic which we have built it's a private nft so that's why you can able to find this nft in the output because we want that when someone would have a special purchase in that scenario they're going to have this nft but if you look at the in, uh, database you will find this nft is already there which i will show you in a while so okay so we have created this nft so it looks fine to me it looks fine everything is working absolutely amazing so this is the get nft now let's come here in the single nft so what i can do come here and here we have all the six nft and if i want to get this nft the single nft so for that what i will do i'll come here and here i have to pass the id of that particular nft so i'm going to simply paste the id which i have copied from there and i'm going to make a request so the moment i will make a request i can see you can easily able to find all the data for that single nft now let's do the same thing for the update nft so if you want to update any data into the nft you can do that so for that purpose i'm going to update this one okay so i'm going to grab this this and i want to change what value i want to change i want to change this let's say i want to change this duration okay or let's change this name because that's what we do most of the time so let's come here and if i go into the body and here i can change the name so i'll instead of this so what is the name we have provided to this NFT? It's a monkey monster. And I want to change it to something like Dalat Hussain. You can change to whatever. Dalat, H-U-S-S-A and Hussain. And if I make a request, you can see we'll get this message, success. And if you look at here, here we have changed that name. If you come back to the single NFT, if you make a request, you can able to see the name is changed Dalat. So it's working fine. We can update the data in our API. So it's also working. And if you want to delete, that's very easy. All you have to do is to simply paste the id and it will really that in this you don't need to pass any data so it's also working fine here we have the get all user as i'm logged into this api so i can easily able to find all the user but we have built a logic that only admin can have an access of getting all this data so that's the functionality we have included so if i want to get the user all the user all i have to do is to get make a request and here i will get all the user we have created including myself okay so you can see all the user with their email id and the name and this data is not for the users and all this data about the users it's not for the normal person those who will come to our application it's only for the admin because admin will have the power to delete any user to change the password okay so that's for that purpose now if we come back to this top five this is the one route we have created and this this route will give us the top nft top five nft in our api so if i make a request i can easily able to find the top five nft you can see this is the top five nft we have got and we have built all these logics okay so we are having this top five nft based on the rating and the difficulty and the pricing so these are the logic we have built i will not go into that detail so make sure to check the complete api that will give you a better idea so this is the top five nft now let's come back to the monthly plan so what happened that sometime your product manager he will tell you to build a a router that will calculate the highest number of selling of nft in a particular month so this is the logic we have built in that we can easily able to find that how many nft is getting sell in a particular month or a particular year so here we are targeting the year you can include it in a month so that will also work so if you make a request here you will find that how many nft we have sold in that particular month so you can see so this is the first month you can see we are getting the month number one and this is the month number two and this is the month number eight so these are the NFT we have sold so far and you can see you can get the month and you can get all of these data. It's really powerful. So this is the one and let's come back to the get status. That's a very valuable data structure which you have to include in the API because as an admin you have to know that how much money you are making, how much sale you are getting, how many user are creating NFT in your marketplace. So you need to have those stats and this is what we have built. So if I make a request you can easily able to find all the data. You can see right now we have categorized our entire nfts based on two part one is the easy and the medium and you can easily able to find all the data so right now we have the three nft with easy and three nft with medium you can add multiple like labels in the nft okay and we have calculated all the ratings pricing minimum max pricing so everything's working fine here now let's come back to the sign up which you have already seen because we have created this user now this is the login one so what i want to do is so this is the one we have created so make sure to keep this in mind that 
this is the dollar and this is the password so if i click on this maybe this is the right one so click on this and here you can see we log into this application now i'm logged in with this dollar and this is the password and now i have access all of these accounts so i'm no longer using the old account which i have created for accessing this data but now i am accessing with this account so this is how user can log into our api so it's also working fine now let's come back to the get all users so if you click on this here you will find the list of all the users which we have already seen that and here we have this forget password so if you haven't watched this make sure to watch it okay so here we can send the like if you come back to the body and here you have to provide the email id suppose that's the one validation we are doing so if someone's get forget their password so we need to have his email id so you can add two-step validation you can add a phone number or you can add an email address but here we are making things simple so we are going with the email id so they have to provide the email id and we're going to send the jwp take one and we're going to send a special link where we they, where they can easily able to fill out the password all they have to do is make a request and it will send the email so i have already show you so make sure to follow the tutorial and here we have the resort password and the same thing we have to provide the jwp token because the token they will get in the emails they have to provide that and they can easily able to confirm their uh, change their password so they can simply come here and they can provide their like the password the new password and the and they have to confirm it because we have to run the validation so this is also working fine now let's come back to the update my password so this one is for the user because user can update his password and that's a totally different resource so reset password and update password is a two different resources so that's the thing you have to keep in mind and here we have this update me so if user wants to update any details like email id or a summary or descriptions or any information about himself like if he wants to update the images so he can update that with this route okay and this is the delete so if a user wants to delete his account so he can but we are not deleting him from our api we are just making him inactive and that's the way you have to practice when you are building your api because you should never delete any information about the users when user delete his account you should make it inactive and you can store it in a different data set so you can later after a week you can send emails to tell him okay there is a special offer so he can reactive his account okay so that's all looking fine so everything is working fine make sure to follow this entire api tutorial and there is a lot of things which you can include in this api so i haven't gone into the review sections so you can build a separate route where you can manage all the reviews which is coming on the nft so there is a two type of review system one is a simple review system means one account can give one review and there is a nested review system in that like one account some one account will give the review and on that some one other will give the review so you can build that system as well so there is a lot of things which you can include in terms of security but whatever security we have applied it's production ready okay so i hope you have got the idea that how you can utilize this api for any kind of application so as you can see that we have follow a very general pattern for building the entire api structure so if you really want to reuse this in any different application all you have to do is simply come up here so if you come back to this model section here we have different resources so we have this nft model and this is the entire schema model we have designed for taking the data into our api so all you have to do is to define the kind of application you want to build so we need to take the name you have to take the slug durations and these are the very generic field which you take from the user so just imagine that you want to create an online learning system and you want to use this particular api in that which i'm going to do because currently i'm working on a project where we're going to build and launch courses so in that i'm going to use the same api you will find that everything we have covered i'm going to use the same thing in my online learning website <clears throat> which is coming very shortly so all you have to do is to change the schema model so instead of name you will take the course title descriptions and it will have the length of the course it will have the review it will have the ratings it will have the tutor name it will have the like which one is popular tag so those kind of things will there in the schema model which you can easily able to define i have also built the top five nft you can convert that into top five course so you can re reutilize this entire api into different application believe that you guys have got the idea that how you can utilize that there is a lot of things which you can include but as you are learning i would recommend you that this is one of the best if you build that if you truly understand all of these things which we have covered in this huge course you are absolutely industry ready because 
you're going to work in industry in a team and you're going to handle a particular section but in this application in this api you have almost covered everything so the level of understanding you will have is always greater than the other fellow team member who you will work with okay so i must tell you to just follow this complete api course step by step try to understand every single thing because i have taken a lot of time to design this entire api course i have covered every single thing i try to show you the entire refactoring we have done if i wanted i can easily able to write the code one by one without explaining much and you guys can utilize it but i took my time i did write down the entire things slowly and explain you as detail as i can so make sure to follow this entire api course and as for connecting this api to the application nft marketplace i'm not going to do that because that's a totally different topic if you really want me to do that i can but it will take me a lot of time okay right now i cannot promise that i'm going to do it right now because i'm currently working on something else so once i finish on that once i launch on that then definitely in future i'm going to make a small video in that i can show you that how you can connect this entire api to the nft marketplace but i cannot guarantee that okay so those of you are telling me that give me any clue the main thing you have already done you have built this entire powerful api okay and when it's come to connecting you have to use your brain brother because this one is a very simple thing this in the template and you can utilize that okay so again i'm telling you give a try give a try from your end try to read more about the mongoose that how you can implement that in the front end application do a little bit hard work from your end because i see that most of you simply copy the code and just go like that you come up with a very small problems which is easily figureable if you do a one google search you can easily able to find the solution for that problem but i have seen that most of you guys don't do that and i do understand because i have done the same thing so just give a little bit effort from your end try to do that only reason i had for building this entire api is to show you that you should not only focus on the blockchain blockchain okay that one is important you have to know how to write the smart contract but you have to give focus on the back end part that how you can structure the data and that was the entire motive for me to making this entire api course i hope this will help you this will give you that how you can design the data model using the mongoose express and nodejs okay and as for the extra functionality which you can include in this api is number one is a simple comment system number two is a complex comment system and the third one is a two step authentication so you have seen that we are authenticating user based on the token what you can do is on the base of the email so whenever someone try to log in it will get an otp otp and they have to fill the otp then they can easily able to log in okay so you can include that functionality as well okay so these are the two extra functionality which you can include to enhance your knowledge about the back end part with that we are done with this entire api i just want you to give a try then only you will learn because if you came so far you are smart enough you are have learned enough to add in this functionality all you have to do is to sit and think and try to recall all the functionality we have built all the tool we have utilized and then try to implement that spend some time co in coding don't just watch spend some time on coding with that i'm ending this video so with that i'm ending this video hope you guys have found this entire api course valuable and you have learned if you still have any confusion do let me know and maybe in future after 2 or 3 months i will try to make a video to where i can show you that how you can connect this api to the front end but currently i'm little busy so that's why i cannot able to do that but maybe after 3 month i will be finished so i can easily able to show you on that but i just want you to give a try give a try so hope you have liked this entire project if you have still any confusion and down do leave in the comment sections and with that i'm just ending this video see you in the next video have a wonderful day